For many following the aviation industry in Asia, China is one of the biggest markets to watch as it is expected to become the largest air travel market in the world by the year 2030. And to accommodate this growth in air travel, the Chinese central government has made plans to build over 200 airports throughout the country. Still fresh from the fanfare of the opening of the Beijing Daxing Airport, the new and second hub for the Beijing capital area, another new mega hub is rising in central China, the Chengdu Tianfu Airport. Unless you really pay attention to what's going on in China, you may likely not be too familiar with the city of Chengdu, the capital of the central province of Sichuan, an area that has primarily served as China's breadbasket with a large agricultural economy, but has since expanded into a major industrial and trade zone. And at present, Chengdu has a population of around 18 million, including the surrounding areas of the metro area. Chengdu is currently served by one major international airport, the Chengdu Xuangliu Airport, which in 2018 served over 52 million passengers, making Xuangliu the fourth busiest airport in China. Serving as a main hub for the major Chinese carriers including the Chinese Big Three, the airline route network to and from Chengdu has expanded to include intercontinental routes to North America and Europe, providing Chinese travelers from the central and western parts of the country an alternative travel option compared to connecting in a city like Beijing or Shanghai located in the eastern part of the country. To meet the growing demands of the Chinese aviation industry and to promote Chengdu as the travel hub for the central and western part of China, Work has been ongoing for the 11 billion US dollar Chengdu Tianfu Airport project since 2016 at a location just over 50 kilometers southeast of the Chengdu city center. While it is a bit further away from the city compared to the Xianglu Airport, the new airport will boast two new passenger terminals with three runways to start off and three more runways that will eventually be added for a total of six covering a land area of over 500,000 square meters. The initial planned capacity will be around 40 million during its scheduled opening in 2021, and by the end of the decade in 2030, the airport is expected to handle up to 90 to 100 million passengers per year. With the Tianfu Airport, Chengdu will join Beijing and Shanghai as the major cities in China, with at least two major airports serving the metropolitan areas. For the utilization of the two airports for the city, the Tianfu Airport will become the premier international and cargo hub, while Xianglu will become the primary domestic hub for the area. Though Tianfu Airport will have facilities for both international and domestic travel. Similar to Beijing Daxing's recognizable starfish terminal design, Chengdu Tianfu will be getting its own unique design for the two passenger terminals, which will mirror the look of each other. Based on the work of three firms, the concept for the design of the terminals is based on the Chinese mythical sunbird, with Terminal 1 set to be open for international and domestic travel, while Terminal 2 will be primarily a domestic terminal and both will be connected by fast people movers. Another feature that will be used in the terminals will be the swing gates which would allow the same gate to be used for both domestic and international flights, as well as a commercial space design for the needs of connecting travelers. For many who observe the infrastructure developments in China, it is often a means for the central government of China to boost its economy and its influence in the other parts of China, especially in areas outside of Beijing and Shanghai. Chengdu's airport has already grown with its network, with major Chinese carriers already establishing a major presence in the city. And since KLM first introduced the first international flights by a foreign airline to the airport in 2006, Chengdu has attracted other foreign airlines to serve the city, which now includes major international carriers United, All Nippon Airways, Etihad, and Qatar Airways. And with the growth of foreign investment in the area, and the growth of the outbound travel market in China, more foreign airlines could look into opening new routes to and from Chengdu. Thank you for watching. This has been another edition of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene from the Asia Pacific. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, 
Thank you for watching and have a great day.